So you're saying I can ask this cat any question? The cat is connected to the computer. You just type in the question, it will read his mind. There the answer comes. You're the man! I've been looking for this for weeks. Use the graph to determine the absolute extrema on the close interval. The output or function value at the highest point is the absolute maximum, and the output or function value at the lowest point is the absolute minimum. And if a function is continuous over a closed interval like we have here, there will always be an absolute maximum and an absolute minimum. So to determine the absolute maximum, we locate the highest point of the function over this closed interval, which is this point here. Notice how the ordered pair for this point is negative one comma five. So because five is the function value or y value, five is the absolute maximum, which occurs at x equals negative one. So again, the absolute maximum is the function value of five at x equals negative one. And now to find the absolute minimum, we locate the lowest point on the graph over this closed interval. Well, the lowest point on the graph is this endpoint here. The ordered pair for this endpoint is two comma negative four, and therefore the y value or function value of negative four is the absolute minimum, and it occurs at x equals two. So again, the absolute minimum is negative four at x equals two. Let's take a look at a second example. Same question, different graph. Let's first determine the absolute maximum by determining the highest point on the graph over this closed interval. Notice in this case, there are two highest points. Both endpoints here are the two highest points of the graph over this closed interval. Where the ordered pair for the point on the left is negative one comma four, and the point on the right is five comma four. Notice how both have the same y value or function value. Four is the absolute maximum, but it happens to occur at two locations. It occurs at x equals negative one and x equals five. So we say the absolute max is four at x equals negative one comma as well as x equals five. And now we'll determine the absolute minimum by determining the lowest point on the graph over this closed interval, which is this point here, the vertex of the parabola. Notice the ordered pair for this point is two comma negative five which means the y value or function value of negative five is the absolute minimum at x equals two. I hope you found this helpful.